Have you ever wanted to compare two different clubs, whether that be two different drivers, two different settings on a driver, two different shafts? Have you ever wanted to compare two different swing moves, whether you're trying to do something different with the wrist at the top, takeaway setup, and see how it affects your shots side by side? Have you ever wanted to compare different yardages? When you grip down on a club, how does that affect your carry? When you swing a little bit harder, how much further does it go? When I go three quarter backswing, how far does it go? Have you ever wanted to be able to compare those so you can take your practice and your game to the next level? Right here at Texas Wedge, we have a feature called tags where you can add tags to a single club, whether that be a driver, and let's say you add a tag for different shafts, different lofts, different brands, whatever, or different swing moves. You could label it short backswing, you could label it gripping down. And what's amazing is you can compare them side by side so that you can see the differences in the changes that you've made. That's super powerful. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use tags so that it can take your game to the next level. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to practice. You're gonna click on shot analysis. Go ahead and sign in if you haven't already done so. Click start. Choose the club you're gonna start with. I'm gonna start with a five iron. And now it's time for me to hit a few shots and warm up and then I'll show you how to use the tags. That wasn't very good. That's why they call it a warm up, right? A little left, starting to get loose. Now we're talking, one more. Woo, lost my bounce a little bit, a little left. Swung pretty hard on that one. All right, now let's dive in how to create tags. To get started, let's open up the shot list at the bottom left. Right here at the bottom left, it says shots. On the left is your shot list. Now, what I would like to do is label these as warm up because I don't want this in the data pool as I start to test things. I wanna create a new tag and we're gonna go back and label this warm up. To do so, you're gonna hit back to pull open the group, you're then going to right click that group and you're gonna hit modify. You're gonna come over here to tags and you're gonna type in warm up. Now I already have the tag saved in here. If it's not in there, you'll just create a new tag by hitting enter on the keyboard. Once you've selected it, and as you can see, you can add multiple tags, but once you've selected it, go ahead and hit done. And what that's gonna do now is label that warm up. Now I have a whole new group that has no tags on it. This current group doesn't have any tags. So if I wanna go add a tag, so let's just say I'm gonna label this choking down. So choke down. I'm gonna go over here to tags. I'm gonna type in choke down. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I added the tag, I'm gonna hit done. Now every shot I hit from here is gonna be under the choke down tab. Let me hit a few of those shots and then I'll show you how you can compare them. So now I'm choking down on my iron, I'm gonna hit a few shots and we're gonna see how far it goes. Now I'm gonna label these next few shots stocks. Now I'm gonna go back to my stock swing and hit a few stock shots and then we'll compare the two data points. Again, at the very top of the screen, go ahead and click on that tag. You're then going to delete this one, hit X, and you're gonna type in stock. Hit enter. Now I'm gonna hit a few shots. That was a good one. Ooh, that was smashed. Now let's go compare the data. To better compare this data, we need to go into a different viewing mode. At the top right, you're gonna see the four little squares. Go ahead and click on that. Then we're gonna to go to table, and now you can compare the two different shots between a stock and between a choke down shot. So if you look at it as you go, now you can look at the shots and you can compare them. So as you can tell, the average carry when I choked down was 188, and then the average carry for a stock is 194. Now, I did have one shot I didn't hit as well, this 187, so if you didn't know this, on this table, you can toggle that off, and now that'll give you a better number. So right here, there's about a 10 yard difference between when I choke down and when I don't. That's a good thing to know. If you need to hit a five iron, but you don't want it to go quite as far, you can just choke down, and it won't go quite as far. That's one way to use tags. When you want to use tags to compare different equipment, go ahead and select your driver as an example. And then you're going to come up here and go ahead and type in the type of head that's in there. Then go ahead and type in the loft. 
Then type in the shaft. Now all three of those tags can change depending on what shaft you put in there, depending on what head you put in there, and depending on what the settings, you can even add the settings in there. And then as you hit shots, you can compare the data to see which ones you like better. As you can see, there's a lot of power in using tags to compare different things in your golf game, whether that be wedges, irons, driver, most commonly used driver, swing moves, distances, so many different things you can do with tags. So come on into Texas Wedge and use our tag feature to really take your game and your equipment to the next level. If you're ready to book your tee time, there's a link down below you can use to book your tee times. Besides that, we'll see you next time. Peace.